Hi, it's TC here again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your tablet back to life again. If you've got a, um, an old tablet and it's uh, frozen, quite often the little icon freezes on them. This, that's what happened to this one. And um, yeah, the little uh, Android man came on the front and just wouldn't move. It just wouldn't boot up and do anything. Um, I'm going to show you how to get it back to life with a thing called Uberoid. It's an operating system you put onto your tablet. It is a bit of a trial and error because you have to get the right one to actually operate everything. But once you've got it on there, it works really, really well. And it works on about 130 odd different tablets. They've got it set for lots and lots of different tablets. You've just got to find the one for you. So, I'm going to show you what you need. Obviously your old tablet, this is an old Chinese type one with um, what they call a resistive screen, you have to push it to um, something or your finger, you have to really push it quite hard on this one, it's not just a touch one. Um, but I use it for things, fault finding and that on that car and uh, watching films and that, it's a really good little thing. Okay, when you've downloaded uh, Uberoid, go, I, I Go for version 12. There is, I've got 10, 9, and 12 on here. I like some of the ones on 10. 9 doesn't work at all on the tablet. Um, 12 has got lots and lots of different options and different opportunities to actually find one that will work on yours. So, when you've unloaded it and uh, unzipped it, you'll end up with a thing called Changer. If you double click on Changer, it will open it up. There's 56 different versions on this page. And in total, it'll do 137 different ones. So it's got 137 different. Sorry, I'm just trying to get that there. Um, types of operating system. Well, they're all the same operating system, but for 137 different tablets. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take my micro SD card and my multi card reader, takes different SD cards this one, and plug it into the laptop. Okay, so I've plugged in my micro SD card with nothing on it into the card reader and the card reader is now in the back of the laptop that I'm using here. It's an old laptop but it does the job. Okay, so I need to find which numbered operating system here works on my tablet and it is a bit of um, trial and error if you've got a seven inch tablet there are lots of seven inch ones on here so Ubroid is, is predominantly for the seven inch one so you have to look down and see if your seven inch uh, make of tablet is actually listed um, I've got an eight inch tablet and there are not as many of those and through trial and error I found that 55, 96, 108 and 101 work on my tablet so I'm going to put uh, 108 on my tablet today so I type in you see the cursors flashing down the bottom here so I put in 108 enter it then comes up and says, do you want to copy Ubroid to an SD drive? Yes, I do. So Y for yes. Enter. And then it's saying here, choose the SD card drive letter. Well, I know that one is E. You have to check which one is yours. So E. Enter. It's now loading down the operating system onto the SD card. The micro SD card will have the operating system onto it. Now when you put it into your tablet and boot as we will in a moment, if it works, the tablet will then eventually boot up to the operating system, but when you push when you touch the screen, things will not operate as they should. You need to then calibrate the screen. A lot of people say, oh, I've put it on there and it doesn't work from scratch. It won't work from scratch. You have to calibrate the screen once you've reloaded up an operating system onto a tablet. Okay, it's saying press any key to continue. So press the key to continue. I can now 
take the card reader out, take the micro SD card out, that now has the operating system Vubroid on it, and then take the tablet, insert the operating system which is on the SD card, so insert the SD card into the tablet and switch the tablet on. Please ensure that your tablets are charged up or plugged into the mains. I'm just plugging mine into the mains. Okay. Again, this takes a few minutes to actually uh, install everything onto your tablet. Okay, uh, can't quite see it in green here, but it says now down here, please remove the SD card. So just remove the SD card, it will reboot on its own. As you can see, I've got the little Android icon in the middle. And it will now be uh, loading everything in the bottom. Starting to set it all up. Ready to boot. OK, the icon's changed in the middle now, so it's uh, starting to go through its booting. OK, and there you have it booting up and the icons have all come up on the screen. Now the problem you'll have is it's not calibrated, so wherever you push on the screen will not actually operate. There, you see, I pushed the email. And the widget thing came up. <coughs> It's working, but it's not calibrated, so I now need to try and find where I need to push on the screen to open the settings. Okay, when I turn the tablet up on its end, if I just push underneath settings, it operates the settings one. I need to now scroll down to touch panel calibration. I'll try the one below, and it's done that one, and now all I need to do.